Here's our tale of the tape. In this heavyweight battle, China versus Australia. Both of these men, 21 years old, but it's Tapa who's 22 pounds heavier, but he will be at a five inch reach disadvantage. When it comes to professional experience, it's Tapa with 18 professional fights, to only 10 of Luke making his kickboxing debut. We are once again scheduled for three three-minute rounds in the glory heavyweight division. Introducing first, fighting out of the black corner, this New Zealand national champion stands six feet three inches tall, 1.91 meters, and he weighed in at 290 and one half pounds, 131.8 kilos. Fighting tonight out of Brisbane, Australia, he is the juggernaut, Junior Tapa. 首先介绍黑方，身高一米九一，年龄二十一岁，来自澳大利亚，他就是小。His opponent fighting out of the white corner, a Sanda fighter with a record of eight wins and two losses. He stands six feet four inches tall, 1.93 meters, and he weighed in at fight time at 268 and one half pounds, 121.8 kilos. Fighting tonight out of China, ladies and gentlemen, introducing Chen Chao Lu. 白方身高一米九三。年龄二十一岁，来自中国，他就是罗家超。And the third man inside the glory r u m s h i referee at Sushi Onari， 场上裁判大成军。Shen Chao Lu told us yesterday the judges will not be needed. Either I'm going down or he's going down. Brutal honesty from the 20 year old. Will we even see round two? Here we go. Junior Tafa in the black gloves. Shen Chao Lu wearing white. Both guys with tons of confidence coming in, both believing in their power. I feel both guys with right hands are going to do it. If it's going to happen, it's with right hands. Tafa said, listen, my right hand is made of sleeping pills. And Lou will eat one tonight. Tafa without much professional training, says he trains in the garage with his two older brothers. All he has is one heavy bag and one pair of mitts. Nothing fancy, he said. Sticking to basics, sticking to his power. And that right hand on the ear had his opponent, Lou, bent over. One, two, three, four. Hey. So a standing eight count given, although I don't believe there's supposed to be any given. That body shot sends Lou down for the second knockdown. One more, and it's over. Three, four, five, six, seven, eight. So Tafa now going for the kill. The Lou fighting back. He's going down swinging. And he connects with the right hand. Yeah, he's landing some power, but that's where there it goes. Tafa mixed in the uppercut. That jab connects. Lou backwards again, and finally a kick thrown. And that's it. It is over. Junior Tafa, the juggernaut from Australia, with the first round knockout that he promised. What a start to his glory career. He came out as he promised, very aggressive with his boxing. He mixed in head punches, body punches. We even saw a nice high kick from him. Very exciting start for Junior Tafa. So his 12th first round knockout, Tafa improves to 18 and one overall. And he is here to stay, Joseph. Yeah, he looked very impressive, very calm. He's good on the mic. And I'm sure he's going to make some noise in the heavyweight division. Tafa's mom is watching at home in Australia. And Tafa said, she's my inspiration. And I promise you, she could knock out most of the heavyweights in the world right now. Yeah, he came out aggressive. This is where he attacked Lou's body. 
taking him to the canvas, mixing in some uppercuts. Just all that power in his hands. This is that left high kick blocked by Lou. Matafa continue to come forward. Just too much power for Lou to handle. Three knockdowns in round one, and that was all she wrote. So the Samoan, who's based in Australia, true to form, heavy hands, and one nice high kick to boot. We will make it official when glory returns. And we were right as Junior Tafa in his glory debut gets the KO. And the way he did it is he really used a lot of good power, like he said. He's mixed in some good uppercuts. We saw him even attack the body. But just showing different power on different angles. Mix in the uppercut, then attack the body just as Lou was covering up his head. And here is the third and final knockout. It started with the head kick, and then one more punch does the trick as Junior Taffa improves to 18 and one overall. And a lot of that was through the defense of Lou. So that power just went right through the guard and defense of Lou. Just too much power from Tafa. Let's make it official. We go into the ring now, and the veteran voice of Glory Kickboxing, Tim Hughes. Ladies and gentlemen, the end comes by way of the Glory Maximum Knockdown Rule with an official time of one minute, 34 seconds of the opening round. Rule the technical knockout for your winner, Junior! Tafa, congratulations. You said you would end it in the first round, and you did. Describe your emotions for me. First of all, all glory to God. Um, I want to thank my family and all. You've only seen a glimpse of what I can do. Glory, please put me on your next show. Let's do it. Your opponent landed some pretty hard shots on you. Were you ever hurt or worried? No, no, no. Was, I didn't really feel much. I just felt, I don't know. I feel good. I'm not hurt. I feel I'm still pretty, so. Next show, let's do it. December, I'm ready. Uh, you definitely went, won some fans over here tonight. We hope to see you again soon. Congratulations. Thank you. Thank you. Okay. Thank you, Whitney. That was Whitney Miller. So, Joe, all in all, what did you make of Junior Tafa's debut? Well, he came out as he predicted. He's got those heavy Samoan hands, like his protege, Mark Hunt. So I'm sure Mark Hunt's watching and happy for him. So I think there's a bright future, and it's nice to see a good heavy hitting heavyweight added to the glory roster.